Hi, in this video, I am going to discuss how to make latex tables with multi column and multi row commands. Here, we are start, uh, going to make the tables without vertical lines. So, in the begin tabular come first we will start the table with slash begin table HTTP. Then slash begin tabular RCC. Uh, we are not making the vertical lines here. So, here no vertical lines are present. Then um, three, uh, three columns. Uh, or separated so two am present symbols are present uh, so we are writing the table contents here and each table is separated with a horizontal line so slash h line is uh, present or four horizontal lines are there so four horizontal uh, commands are there one two three and four and n with n tabular and n table now this is the is, uh, symbol table now we are going to see now let's see how to merge cells first write begin table and in tables and in between write the table contents now we are going to merge cells these two and we are not merging cells uh, these two cells and so first uh, first row we are not merging uh, so we are uh, writing as it is then the second row we are starting the merging uh, here first first row um, we are not merging so we are writing c line one to one first row not merged one then write the third row then uh, we execute that is run the program then we will get the uh, table like this here we are going to merge the cells 3 and 1 and 2 is not merging. So, here same way we are writing the programs. Then we are writing C clients 1 to 2. It is not merged. Uh, so, after executed we will get the um, um, output table like this way. Here we have drawn the vertical line to each columns. So, for this we have uh, returned the vertical bar. So, we got the vertical lines. Now, uh, now we have written start programs and end programs and in between the um, three row and three column tables. And each column is separated with Amrazen and each row is ended with H lines, um, backlashes and H lines expressions. Then after run the program, we will got the... Uh, a resultant table like this way in this table first we are writing begin table and end table and in between we are writing the table contents now in this example we are uh, not merging the cells two so we are writing c line to um, the starting and end is two two so the uh, second row is not merged and the first and third row is merged and here the first uh, first row here is not merged so c line uh, statement is not written here so after executed we got the resultant table like this in this example we are merging the first and third column so we are writing c line equation at the first um, the first line itself so here c line 2 2 so the first and third um first and third column is merged and the second one is not merged so here remind um, the begin and end uh, statements are written and h line also written so the resultant table is coming like this now we are going to see multi column uh, statements so here multi column statements the, uh, this is the example table we are going to merge the columns so multi column statement is used 
so the first column itself we are merging so first the date the first column is not merged remaining three columns are merged so the first column we are writing as it is and um, the uh, multi column statement is second from the uh, start from the second column statement so multi column three columns we are going to merge so three and a c that is uh, it's a center alignment so it's written C. So it's C center alignment. And now uh, name. The title of this multi column is name. And the H line expression is given. So now next the uh, statements uh, are written. Here the table contents are written. And um, here the, we are doing the labeling the uh, labeling the table with C1 dash tab one and the caption of the table is type of transport and this p2 centimeter p3 centimeter is we are deciding the width of each columns p2 centimeter is width of the first column p3 centimeter remaining three or three centimeter width so after executing we will get the resultant table like this. here first we are starting with the begin statements uh, then labeling um, then we are uh, fixing the table weight. Uh, then um, we are writing the table contents. So first uh, uh, slash bf for uh, bold the letters date and uh, name is bold by using slash bf statement. Now we are starting with the table content. First date then Amazon then name uh, these three columns are uh, merged. So multi column three. Uh, and left align the title here is left align so l then slash bf name h line it's finished now second um, second row no changes so we are writing only the content now in the third row 213 is merged so we are writing c line 2 to 4 then we are writing the third uh, third data then uh, n, n statements after executing the programs um, uh, programs we will get the final table is like this and here first we are initializing the tables then caption the table then labeling the table then we are writing the table. now uh, first column is no changes so we are writing date as it is now name it's uh, merged so multi column three and center alignment then uh, here multi row three these three rows are uh, merged so multi row three and the value is t then we are writing the remaining data then uh, two three four two three four as it is so c line two to four then the next uh, next row uh, start with the empty empty data because these two are merged and the same value has to be there so here these two value we need to make it as uh, empty then we are writing the remaining data and c line 2 to 4 uh, then h line statement and end table then uh, after executing the program we will get the resultant table like this first we are initializing the tables with the slash begin table then sending the table then caption the table and the table. now begin tabler the three tables then now we are um, doing the multi column one so here multi column one the first multi column is date mm. then the second multi column is two columns we are merging so multi column two with the uh, title is name then uh, remaining the data uh, uh, table data are returned with uh, and the table is uh, separated each table is separated with slash h line commands then finally the end table after in running the programs we got the resultant table this this one in this example first we are um, initializing the table then centering then caption the tables then labeling the tables now we are fixing the width here this width is low um, large so we are fixing the large width six centimeter the first column and second one is seven centimeter then uh, multi column one these two are multi columns one the title is advantages and next one the title is disadvantages 
now we are writing the data uh, with the separate with the column separator ambrose and symbols then writing the hexagon statements then in table the resultant table is this one thank you